Hi everybody, my name is Mike Rabillo, and today I'm going to show you an example of how I created a data-driven graphic. This is an example of a questionnaire, and in fact it's just one question, uh, just to show you what type of data we might use. And here we're asking somebody, if you were going to buy a tablet computer today, which one of the following would you buy? An Apple iPad, an HP Slate, a Sony Dash, or a Samsung Galaxy tablet? Once we give this out, we collect all the information and then take that information and put it into Excel. Here in the Excel file you'll see we have the four options people had to choose in the questionnaire. The Apple iPod, the HP Slate, the Sony Dash, and the Samsung Galaxy tablets. Uh, in this example I'm making all the circles the same sizes and you'll see uh, when this starts you'll see the outside circles are all the same size. They're all 50 pixels wide. Uh, making the options all yellow, so all those circles will be yellow. Uh, here on the left you'll see these are all the people that took part in this survey and this is completely fictitious data. Um, however, just for example purposes I put people's names here and here I put the color that I want that person's circle to be. And I think you'll see here we have about 40 something, 48 minus the 4, so 44 people uh, in this survey. Then what I did on another sheet called my RC relationships which stands for relationship circles relationships here you'll see this is the person's ID number five uh, and what their answer was number six and what their answer was seven and what their answer was and I correspond or I made these colors correspond with the numbers so anyone who chose number four which was the Samsung uh, is going to be purple anyone who chose number one which is the Apple iPad uh, is going to be orange uh, and so forth all right, now to start this, I created a nice little interface here in Excel, and we're going to choose relationship circles. And then we just hit create circles, and the application starts.